holy cow, do I have a lot of questions to go over. So, Chrislyn, this video might actually compete with yours for the longest video ever. Seems like today I'm looking back. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll see further than my little head allows me to. Hey ladies, it's Wednesday. And, um, yeah, I'm wearing a hat today because my roots are in dire need of being done and I have an appointment for Friday but um plus on top of that I just didn't feel like doing anything with my hair today so a hat it is um okay life update quickly hopefully um the baby shower went really, really well. Um, she was super happy with everything, and it turned out really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it was really nice. I don't really like going to baby showers. Don't know why. I'm just not a really into baby babies person, if that makes sense. Um, I don't ooh and on stuff like that over them. So um, baby showers just kind of really aren't my thing, but... Yeah, it was nice. She had a good time. So, Crystalline, hopefully, um, the one that you went to, she was equally as pleased with her baby shower. Um, <clears throat> what else? What else? Um, not really much else. Jason was out of town um, Thursday through yesterday. So, he's back, which is nice. It's nice to have um, that warm body back in the bed next to you. Um and just some help, just some help, because I was very close to nearing the end of my robe. <laughs> um, <clears throat> for all of the single moms out there, I have the utmost respect for you. Yeah, the utmost respect. Um, so that's about it for what's going on in life. Not much happened this weekend. I'm pretty boring when <laughs> I don't have um, my husband around, I guess, so... So, on to questions, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Have I fed a lorikeet? Um, have not. We actually went to a zoo and went into the lorikeet, like, habitat, and they informed us that we could not feed them because they had been fed pretty much all day and they weren't hungry anymore. So, whatever. We didn't get to feed one. So I, as well, have no picture. Um, I was beginning to think I was going to be the only one that did not have a picture of me feeding a lorikeet. So I'm glad that there were others that um, also didn't have pictures. Okay, um, have I shot a handgun? I actually have. I think I've only shot a handgun once in my life. Um, Jamie, I think you were there. I think it was with you guys. I think. I'm pretty sure. Um... But uh, I am interested in doing it more. I'm actually going to try and take a class for um, to get my concealed weapons permit um, towards the end of this month, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, hopefully then um, I will have the want to do it more. So. Um, okay, I'm going to skip over that one for right now. Do I believe in reincarnation? I don't. Um, I believe that uh, we have one soul and our soul was created by God and he gave it specifically to us. It has not been used before and it will never be used again. We take it, it's what, it's, <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's who we are. It's who we are as a person and I don't think it can be taken from you or given to another person. Um, it's what carries us on in eternal life in heaven. It's um, it's our being. So I don't believe that it's been used before. I don't think that it will be reused. And um, yeah, that's just my belief on that. Um, was I made fun of in high school? You know, I think once I got into high school, I actually got better. Um, I was definitely made fun of in middle school and elementary school. Um, the things I was made fun of for, I had glasses, so I was called four eyes all the time. I was pale, so I got made fun of that a lot. And I would say that was probably the number one thing that I got made fun of 
Um, and then a close runner up to that would have been my height. I got made fun of for my height a lot too. Um, and it makes you really self-conscious. <laughs> I mean, it really does. Like for a long time, I, I would not wear shorts in the summer. I would just be blisteringly hot all summer long because I didn't want, um, people to make fun of me about it. So I just covered it up. Um, and as far as height, you can't do much to cover that up. So I just rolled with the punches and, um, you know, eventually I embraced both of those things and, um, I learned to love them and now I embrace it. You know, I don't try and self tan anymore. I don't try, I don't purposely go out with the, um, purpose to tan just because it, it doesn't matter to me anymore. It's, it's my skin. It's beautiful and I love it. And I don't care if anybody else doesn't love it. <laughs> so yeah. And as far as my height goes, you know, it still kind of angers me on a, but I don't get made fun of it anymore. In fact, if anything, people are jealous of how high, how tall I am and they constantly tell me that. So anyways, it's still really hard to find pants that fit, but other than that, I mean, I'm rocking it, and I can't really wear high heels, really high heels around my husband, even though he says he doesn't mind, but sometimes I mind a little, if they're, if it's a really big heel. Anyways, I'm rambling, and I have enough questions to go over. So, and then I got braces, too, so I had glasses, I had braces, I was in band, so I kind of got made fun of for that. I got made fun of a lot, I guess. <laughs> I didn't really realize it till now, but Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, okay, how did I get into makeup? Um, gosh, you know, I, I don't, I don't even know. Like ever since, I guess I started kind of dabbling in it in high school and it was not attractive. Then I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but neither my mom nor my sister really wore makeup. So it was kind of like a, you're on your own if you want to go this way kind of thing. So I just, I tried to pay attention to like actresses and um, magazines and stuff. And I mean, even people I'd see just out and about that had makeup and I'd try and kind of recreate and I'd just, I'd research it and the more I researched it, the more I liked it. But I didn't really like, I wasn't really passionate about it then. Um, and then I did that Barbizon modeling thing, which I don't know if you guys knew that I did, but anyways, um, I got tons and tons of self-confidence from that, which was amazing. And even if you don't, if it does nothing else for you, um, it gave me self-confidence, which I cannot put a price on. Um, so that was really nice. And it was very instructional about makeup and stuff. And so that really, like, I kind of fine-tuned my skills then, as far as a high schooler can do, you know. And uh, I got really excited about it and into it. And so from there, I guess it just kind of snowballed. Like, I really liked creating different looks and stuff, and that was nice. Um, and uh, did I... Did people ever comment on it? You know, I want to say the only comments I got were really positive. Um, a lot of people, like I said, when you start doing something that's new, especially wearing makeup, people notice. And a lot of the times, they're, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Um, they get really excited. And, you know, even when I do bright colors or um, color combinations or just different stuff, um, you know people are percept like they're they're okay with it like they find it exciting because I think a lot of the times they don't see it on a regular basis so when they see it it kind of catches them off guard and they kind of think it's cool so I guess I would never say I got um negative comments on the makeup that I been that I've done on myself or on anyone else um which is nice it's nice to hear um I'd say the only kind of negative thing that's really gone on is I I feel like um, with my family, it's not, uh, they don't ask me about it. They don't get excited about it um, for, for me. Um, so that's been kind of tough. Um, I feel like I'm just kind of swimming in a pool of, you know, my own. Jason's wonderful about it. I have... Um, his family's really wonderful about it, but I guess some friends and some family that, you know, when I show them work I've done or whatever, um, they don't really care. So that's 
probably the only part that's been a little rough with doing makeup, but um, that's it. <laughs> um, um, Meg asked, what can I make? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> I can make people's faces up, but does that count? I don't even know. Um, Xander and I will cut things out of construction paper, and that's fun. <laughs> but other than that, I don't really make a lot. Um, I used to do some painting stuff, but I eh, don't really do that anymore. And I used to try and make jewelry, but again, meh, don't really do that anymore either. Um, and then... So yeah, that's what I make. I can make, I can bake too. Uh, yeah, I can bake. I'm pretty good at that, I guess. Um, what age did we start shaving? I honestly don't remember, but I want to say it was junior high before I started actually shaving things like armpits and legs and stuff. Maybe it was like sixth grade. Cause I remember like we got the whole deodorant talk, I think, in sixth grade when we had PE class and stuff. Like, a bunch of us started to smell a little rank when we came back to class. And so we definitely had the deodorant talk. So it might have been sixth grade. Yeah, it might have been sixth grade. So what age are you then? Nine, ten? I don't even know what age I was then. Yeah, I'll say sixth grade. That's a good answer. <laughs> um... Crystalline, what am I charging for makeup work? Um, as far as like photo shoot stuff, uh, the starting rate is 50 an hour, but um, I wanted to say that I'm sure we can work something out if that doesn't fit into your budget. I am, I'll, I want to try and be flexible for everyone's budget. So um, the only thing I probably will have a hard time being flexible on is bridal stuff, but that's not you. So, um, yeah. Or even if we could maybe, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it out here. Do like a trade situation. So, um, I do the makeup. I have a couple more tattoos I want to get. So if that fits into that, maybe we could talk about that or something. I don't know. I'm sure we can work something out though. Cause I'd love to do that for you. And, uh, it really wouldn't be, um, too much work. So I, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't even go over the whole hour. So it might only end up being like 25 or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll talk. <laughs>